welcome back to the channel. Today we're installing my Mobtown off-road skid plate for the fuel tank. Uh, in the first video, we did the prep work, we painted it, um, we added a little design, didn't come out great, but that's all right. Uh, today is specifically on the install. They do not provide an install for this skid plate. Um, reading up on it, they just don't have the ability to do in uh, write-ups for installs on every product they produce. I don't, I don't find that right. If you're going to make a product as a company, provide instructions, the bare minimum written instructions. So I'm going to make a video today for you guys. So if you want to buy a Mobtown off-road skid plate, you can install this. It's pretty simple, but there's a few things that you need to know. So first, your truck needs to be empty, no, no fuel in it. So I've only got a couple gallons of fuel in it. Um, this is because they're using the factory gas tank strap nuts to hold some of the skid plate on. Um, so truck's empty. Um, I'm still missing my bumper. It's out of the powder coater for a repaint. Um, so I've got some extra room under there to get to get all the bolts. So some of the tools we need. All right, so this is what they provide you. Uh, two bolts, nuts and washers. Um, this is gonna go on one of the cross members. We're gonna reuse the factory nuts on the gas tank straps. You'll need a socket with a uh, number 12 socket. Um, I'm using a 19 and a three quarter for these bolts over here. So that's all the tools you need. Um, so the first step is to remove the factory skid plate, which is with this and the number 12. So underneath your truck, you'll find four nuts. They're not on very tight. Um, it's number 12 socket. Remove those. There's two in the front here and two in the back right there. Okay, factory skid plate is removed and it is dirty. This is a good chance to inspect your gas tank straps, make sure that they're not corroded or rusted out. Uh, great chance to replace them while you're underneath here. You'll see that right here, um, the nuts or the bolts are hanging through. We're gonna reuse those locations. So now we're gonna get our skid plate, put it on a floor jack and lift it into place and line the holes up. All right, we got our skid plate. Now, like I was saying before, in the first video you saw how we painted it, I had a reaction with two of the paints and it left this uh, cracked look. Now it's not peeling, hasn't flaked or anything. Um, it's over a month old and it's still holding up. So we're gonna run it to skid plate anyway so I don't really care what it looks like. Uh, those stripes on top came out okay. Then I tried to do the same thing down here and had a little bit of a failure. So um, I was learning, practicing, playing, but we're gonna put that skip plate on the floor jack. I'm gonna cover the, uh, the metal piece so I don't scratch it. Um, the back side of my skid plate, I did in a textured bed liner paint. I assume that a lot of uh, rocks and mud are going to get stuck up in here. I'm not a super big fan of the design of this skid plate because of that. Uh, there's no place for water or mud to really drain out. Um, so that could be an issue for cleaning and
So I've gotten this sucked up pretty pretty close to where it needs to be. Um, the beveled end with the two bolts go to, goes towards the front. We're going to install those uh, grade 8 bolts in the front of that. So once you get it lined up, grab your nuts and then just fine tune those holes. Alright, this right here is the front. We're going to install the factory supplied bolts from Mobtown right up in here. I have lined up those bolts in the front, loosely tightened them on. Now I'm going to do the back. There's a flat edge here that goes along the drive shaft. Alright, guys, now that we've got the four bolts uh, in, we're going to install their factory bolts. These are going to be tricky. These go through a cross member and it's going to go washer on both sides. Um, and it's going to be tricky because we got to get our hands up in there. So that's going to be the hard part and uh, let's see if we can get it done. Alright guys, so now we're going to put in our supplied bolts for a mob town. They go right here in this cross member. Uh, pretty easy to feed them through. The challenge is lining up a, a hole uh, in this cross member. Now I've lightly loosened all those bolts up. I never really tightened them down because there is a little bit of um, adjustability left to right. So right now I'm trying to line these holes up so we can kick it over. Um, I need to go to my left a little bit and then we can feed in those bolts pretty easily. All right, all I did was tap over my skid plate to the left a little bit, lined up those holes. They fit nicely in. Um, I'll feed the locking nut on the back side of these and torque them down. They don't provide a torque spec, so I'm just gonna go to uh, snug on everything. So I just got these tightened up. Um, I had to use a, a box wrench on the back side of this to uh, get these bolted down. Um, I gave the impact gun all it had, tighten them right up. So they're they're installed and now I'm going to tighten up the other four factory bolts and the install will be complete. Uh, overall real simple install. Um, I didn't have an issue with the gas tank strap bolts. People said because a full tank will kind of push them out of alignment they'd be hard. I didn't have an issue at all. They lined up perfectly for me. Uh, they went on smoothly, so I do have an empty tank. I can't tell you if that was the thing that made the difference, but um, overall, very easy install, just no instructions were provided. So hopefully this helps, but let's get these tightened up. And All right, guys, that wraps up the install on the Mobtown off-road skid plate for the third gen Tacoma. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I will link the uh, product in the description. And uh, shout out to Explore Overland. Um, they actually, it came from them. I won a giveaway uh, at one of their big events. And uh, with that giveaway money, I bought a skid plate with it. So huge shout out to Derek and the crew over at Explore Overland for hooking me up with this. Uh, shout out to Mob Town Off Road for uh, getting this product to me, and um, hopefully this video helps uh, future installs for people looking to do this. It's very simple, um, and definitely uh, an upgrade that's worth uh, worth doing. It's very lightweight. I didn't get to weigh the actual skid plate, but uh, it's fairly light for what it is. Uh, it is steel, um, but again. It's gonna help with any kind of punctures and things getting thrown up to the skid plate. So uh, I'm pretty excited to get out and use it and see um, see how it holds up. So until next time, see you on the trail.